That is a 61 Impala steering wheel, but it's green. All right, today I am working on my 61 Impala steering wheel. I've taken it apart, center piece here, taking that out. It's in pretty decent shape, so I'm not going to mess with that a whole lot. The, I'm going to work on any of the chipped scratches and get it smoothed up, but the top side, it's got some patina. See if we can't make it look pretty decent. It does look like that it's never been repainted the, under the green. It looks like a factory primer. So at least I'm not stripping off lots of layers of paint. But probably should use some paint stripper. But at this point, I think the original paint probably bonded on there pretty good so whatever is not chipped already I just kind of feather it where it is worn or, or scratched off I'm not going to strip it to bare metal if it turns out not looking too good which is entirely possible after I paint it then I can try chemically stripping it I am really not that worried about it being show quality. I think driver quality is just fine. I may end up having it bare metal. Just trying to get these pits, and they're not, maybe pits isn't the right word, bumps. I think I'm gonna try priming it a couple times and sanding it just to see if I can get it looking pretty smooth. I'm using the interior paint that I bought online. It's the factory color, and I used it for the kick panels, and it, it looks pretty good, matches pretty well. I don't know what they made this out of back in the day, but if some of you are old like me, you may have heard the term pot metal. I don't know if that's what this is like some type of a casting and it, it might not be again show car it's definitely gonna be show car quality but I can't see that good anymore anyway so if it looks good to me that's all that matters right once I paint it red it will look like it's always been on there all right, my, my garage lighting is not the greatest, but I don't think it looks too bad. Well, I got some filler into any of the chips and cracks, sanded everything. Um, I think oh, the light's acting a little goofy. I think it's going to look okay. It's All right, after priming it, getting the white on, we'll let that dry overnight. Then I will mask off the white and do the red. Well, masked off the white. Now we're doing the red. I'll take a few light coats. Hopefully it turns out okay. I did some body work and I got most of the chips and scratches 
done, but I then I screwed up the paint, the white. Let me wet sand it. Um, see if I can get it smooth. The top doesn't look too bad on the white. Um, the red turned out okay. Um, this was pretty pitted and stuff. It's not perfect, but it doesn't look bad. The chrome, I just need to clean it up a little bit, but it's it's also a little pitted. But it's probably about as good as as I can do. Mmm, bakes Impala. Don't tell my wife, but I'm curing the paint on the steering wheel in her oven. I'm also washing Impala parts in the sink. Again, shh, mom's the word. Well, that's about as clean as it's gonna get. It's not perfect, but neither is the paint job on my steering wheel, so. It's clean. Well, the steering wheel did not turn out perfect. A couple spots where the paint bubbled. For whatever reason, the metal part's a little bit darker red than the whatever this material is. Definitely not going to win any concourse judging with it, but I'm pleased. All right, I, I broke this guy. Not supposed to do that. This is the cancel, cancel cam thingy for the turn signal and the horn button goes through there. So I did get a new one. Um, there's a pretty healthy spring on there. I got a Seems a bit overkill. But anyway, um, the original 61 steering wheel uh, has big metal fingers that bolt on and they aren't gonna work with this more modern GM turn signal switch. Uh, so I was able to buy this as a replacement. <coughs> uh, this is for your horn contact. Um, Hopefully, I can make this work. Okay, so uh, you need to drill a 3 8 hole about 10.30, they say. Uh, I did it. Steering columns recommend about 10.30. I couldn't go um, much more than what I did because the uh, threaded hole for using the steering wheel puller is right there. And so... I drilled it probably close to 10.30. I mean, it's it's close enough. But anyway, that's to uh, make sure the turn signals turn off. Anyway, so I got her drilled out with the old big drill, and I'll clean her up, and uh, we'll see if it works, if it fits. All right, a 3 8 hole is not big enough. That's what I did it, said that. I mean, I could hammer that in there. But it's pretty tight and I don't I don't want it to be that tight so I'm gonna I'm gonna go up a size all right this is my 3 8 actually bigger than 3 8 but this is the hole drilled at 1030 that will cancel the turn signal um, this is the modern GM horn uh, gizmo I don't know what it's called contact so if I put that in there got a little knob on it push turn and it locks it in so if I ground it I don't know if you can hear that the relay is kicking for the horns uh, the horns don't work but the horn button will so what I've got to do now I guess is this is the uh, 61 horn button that's not going to work anymore our horn that's the contact 
that will be useless, but these, these buttons should work. So I'm going to cut, I'm going to cut this off and put a blade connector on it and uh, hook it to that. And then the factory horn button should work in this old steering wheel. All right, I got a, an insulated blade connector, um, so that should plug in here. I'll probably go ahead and wrap that with tape so it doesn't touch anything. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut this and see if we can attach it, attach this blade connector. Well, maybe if you can get it apart, you can use it. I don't know. I will not throw it away because I never throw anything away. So I will uh, this guy. Maybe. Yeah. And this guy. This is fine. Maybe I know what I'll do. I'm gonna put it together, the wire, with this unhooked. And then we'll strain the wire really hard when I put that back where it's supposed to go. Make sense? <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you for your cooperation. All right, so now I will twist these together. Put that guy in there. A little crimp it. Okay, now so I'm going to put this guy back in here. The wire, it's not too bad, really. So. Put that down. Scratch the heck out of the steering wheel. We'll plug this in. Maybe. This probably has to be attached because it's not ground anything out. So let us see. Yeah, I, I doubt you guys can hear that, but that is making the horn relay do horn relay things. And yeah, that, that's going to look okay. So, turn signal cancellation thing works, but if it, it didn't before, with this steering wheel, because they had it oriented wrong. This is supposed to be at 1030 and it's at uh, six, no, seven o'clock maybe. So it was in the wrong spot. So it, it didn't really work for me. 
Um, so yeah, let's see. Again, what I do with my filter. <laughs> I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached. I'm going to drop that down in there. Whew. Almost. Lost that burger. We're not done yet. Still might be able to screw that up. Alright. I am. Since this will still fit through here. Just a little bit more. Just a have it gap not so big back there. Get that guy in. Let me put these screws. They hold the back side. I hold this thing on the back side. Trying to horn really. And these go in back here. A lot easier when it's sitting on the shell on that workbench. On. Perfect. So there it is. Tilt. Okay. I like it. Let's see. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Got the gap pretty close. Um, I think I did it makes an actual spacer ring that'll go in there. I'm gonna maybe look into getting that, but you know, I don't know, I'm not real worried about it. All right, I can't really tell in the video. I'm gonna push that. I don't know if you can hear it. I'm gonna move the phone up a little closer, it's right up there behind the cowl or the radiator core support. I kind of hear it when I... So the uh, horn... Horns... There's two of them. Are plugged in and they're... They're making a clicking noise, so... Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure that out another day. Uh, but... Steering wheel is all hooked up. So... I think I'm going to call that a wrap on the steering wheel project. I'm really pleased with it. 
Thanks for watching.